Okay, we're going to do instructions for covering the frame in polycarbonate. Uh, the frame's exactly the same as normal. We've seen how to make that in an earlier video. Uh, what we start with is a um, double sided foam based glazing tape. It's uh, got a tape. I'll show you this close. You can tape on, one, on that side, you unroll it, and you stick it to your framework. I've already done that, so I'll peel off the tape, this tape has to be um, UV protected, so don't get a cheap uh, blazing tape, get a, a good quality one that's got um, UV protection. Okay, now the, poly the polycarbonate is um, about a mil and a half, two mil smaller than the wooden frame. So what you do is you line that up and press it in place. Press it down firmly and that will stick to your uh, polycarbonate tear frame. Now we've got to seal against water so what we use is a good quality silicon sealant. Uh, it's low modulus and uh, try and get Dow coring or something similar. Um, cheap ones have filler and solvents in them and they won't last and they won't work. Again because it's the sunshine will be at this it has to be an outdoor kind of uh, silicon that's UV stable. Right, I'm going to show you from there hopefully you can see. I've used a black silicon against the white so you can see how it works and I've made a little shoe for the gun to help press, the, the silicon has to go behind, here we go, has to go behind to make the seal, so you have to run it from one point, to know that and not get any air in it, Show you that. I'll just clean that off. There you go. I'll show you that now. You can see that there's the black silicon has gone in behind to create a seal and it's touching the white. I normally do these in white silicon with a white beading or black beading and black silicon. That's just to show you how it, how the silicon goes behind. Uh, finish all the way around. Very similar method for multi-wall polycarbonate. I'll just show you that there. That's the multi-wall. What you have to do is you rebate the multi-wall polycarbonate, leaving only the very top layer of polycarbonate. Now, do that on your table saw. Be careful. Cut always cut that way first, and that way second. If you cut that way first, and then that way, it'll drop down to the saw and grab a hold. So always cut. That way first, and then that way to get your rebate. Uh, I'll show you the covering. Glazing is done exactly the same as the flat polycarbonate. You've got your glazing tape there. I'm using white on this one, white and black again, so you can see where I'm silicon and where I'm glazing. That there doesn't need anything to do with it. presses up against the wood, so no flies or anything should get in there. Pop that on nice and tight into the corner and press down. You can see the glazing tape sticking. Now 
Now you can silicon now, or you can silicon when the domes fully join together. Uh, it's up to you. It doesn't really make any difference. Again, we'll use a shoe on the silicon gun. This just helps to uh, get the silicon underneath the polycarbonate. Hopefully you can see that. And I'll see if I can turn it around so you can see a bit better. Should be able to see silicon going underneath the polycarbonate to make the seal. Again, we'll clean using soapy water sprayed on and tooled with our silicon tool. This keeps it, your um, polycarbon nice and clean. And that way. This is um, triple wall polycarbonate. This is the finished panel. Uh, glazed up there. We've used white silicon on this one, but that's gone off now and it's uh, really hard. You can see that it's firmly stuck in and you'll never get it out. Right. A couple of things to remember. Making a shoe makes getting the silicon into the behind the silicon must get right in to the back of the tape. Uh, and all the shoe is a little square piece of wood with um, a hole cut in and the nozzle fits into the hole like that. And that then just uh, makes a small hole that comes in the corner. And that will get that underneath there and get the silicon into the back of there. Uh, the other thing, couple of things to remember is um, don't use uh, polycarbonate larger than one meter triangles. If you go bigger than one meter, you'll get distortion because of the um, expansion and contraction of polycarbonate.